Hello everyone, this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs and today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a doggy diaper. Now this pattern is a free pattern on my blog and this pattern comes in three sizes. It's for a extra small, a small, and a medium. The extra small is for a four to six pound dog. The small is for a seven to 10 pound dog and the medium fits about 11 to 15 pound dog. This is made out of worsted weight yarn and for today's demonstration, I'm going to be using this pink. Now, you may ask me, why am I not making them out of cotton? And the reason is it's a doggy diaper and the cotton does absorb the moisture, but it also holds on to the smell. Worsted weight yarn, can be thrown in the wash and washed and it doesn't absorb and hang on to that smell the way that cotton does. And the way that this pattern works is it has two buttons. It has a tail hole and then you just add an adhesive pad in the middle. Now this is the perfect diaper for female dogs who are in heat or may have a little bit of incontinence issues and you can always add a thicker pad if it's needed. Now the reason I originally made this pattern is because Rosie, my little female, Chihuahua, was having trouble with her glands and her glands burst and so she was bleeding and had that awful gland smell and so I made her some of these and it helped a lot because um, you can change out the pad and not have to wash the whole diaper um, every time it's used. And that's why <clears throat> this works really great. has a tail hole for their tail. You slide it on, wrap the bands around, and adjust them, and button it. Now, one thing you can do if you feel like that this isn't going to hold, as you can add it an extra little elastic or tie so that it can still be taken on and off easily. And like I said, this has three sizes included in the pattern and I'll make sure I put that pattern link down in the notes underneath the video. So let's talk about supplies. You're going to need some worsted weight and like I said, I'm using this pink worsted weight. We're going to be stitching with our H five millimeter today. You're going to need, of course, some adhesive pads. I like this brand. I think it's the Always because they're a little bit shorter and they work great in these for the smaller dogs. And they're inexpensive, like not even two bucks for quite a few of them in a package. You're also going to need a couple of buttons and I'm just using round white buttons. You can use any buttons that you want. You can use decorative buttons if you want it to be a little bit more fancy. You're going to need a needle with a nice big eye and, of course, a pair of scissors. The last thing that you're going to need is a tape measure. And that's because you want to measure your dog's waist to make sure that um, you're making the right size. And then when we're working on it, some dogs are longer. So it's a good idea to measure your dog from the tail up to the waist so you know how many rows to add to make sure that your diaper is going to fit the long ways onto your puppy or your dog. And remember, I always say that your tape measure is one of your most important tools in your crochet tool bag. So gather up your supplies and I'll demonstrate how to make the extra small doggy diaper. The way we stitch the diaper is we're going to be beginning at the center of the crotch and then we're going to work up the back of the diaper. We'll be doing one side then the other around the tail hole and then we'll stitch back and forth for the, uh, the back of the diaper. Then we'll reattach down at where we began and we'll stitch up the what would be the front of the diaper. When you make a diaper cover or a soaker for a, a human baby, it's the opposite of what we're doing with a dog. And remember, 
dogs' bodies are shaped weird. So it, this, it's, it, it is an easy pattern. There aren't any tricky stitches, but it can be a little bit confusing because dogs' bodies are weird. So then we'll stitch up and, we'll, and then we'll add the tabs. And that's the way the pattern will work. So we'll be beginning at the crotch and working up the back of the diaper where the tail hole is. So I'm going to demonstrate how to make the extra small size, but I'll also give you stitch counts for the bigger sizes. So we're going to begin first by making our slip knot. And then we're going to chain seven for the extra small size. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If you're making the small or medium size, you're going to need to chain nine for the small and 11 for the medium. Here is my seven chains. If you're making the small size, nine, and if you're making the medium size, 11. Now remember, this is the crotch or the center portion of our diaper. We're going to stitch one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So here's our first chain. We're gonna go in our second chain and stitch a single crochet. And then we'll stitch one single crochet in the next five stitches. And this will give us a total of six single crochets. And if you're doing the small eight single crochets and 10 single crochets for the medium size. We're gonna chain one. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. And then we're going to turn. So what we're going to do for the next row is we're going to place two single crochets in the first stitch. So we stitch two single crochets in the first single crochet. Then we're going to stitch one single crochet in each stitch across and then two single crochets in the last. And that's the same on all the sizes, only you'll have more single crochets in between. chain one and turn. So we're going to be repeating the same thing for the next three rows, stitching two single crochets in the first stitch, stitching one single crochet across, and then two single crochets in the last. And that's what gives us the increases of our diaper. So two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in each stitch across, and then two single crochets in the last single crochet chain one and turn. So that's row three and we're going to repeat this for row four and row five. So we chained one, doesn't count as a stitch, two single crochets in the first and one single crochet all the way across in each single crochet and then two single crochets in the last single crochet for two rows. This is how your diaper should look after your first five rows. Now, if you're doing the extra small size, you need to have 14 single crochets. If you're doing the small size, you'll have 16. And if you're doing the medium size, you'll have 18 single crochets after row five. Now we're going to begin the tail hole. To begin row six, we're going to put one single crochet in the first seven single crochets if it's the extra small size. You'll do seven, excuse me, nine single crochets for the small and 11 for the medium. 
because we're beginning to make our tail hole. So we're going to do one side and then we'll do the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's my first seven, and then I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches left unstitched. We'll chain one and we'll turn. We'll place one single crochet and each stitch across. And then when we get to that last stitch, we'll go ahead and place two single crochets so that we can continue to cause our diaper to flare out a little bit. So there's one and two. And this, by working up, we're making the space for the tail hole. And then we finish this side, we'll come over here and we'll do the same thing. So chain one. Now we're doing row eight. We're gonna place two single crochets in the first single crochet. and then one single crochet across. Now we won't be putting one single crochet in the last one because we're making the tail hole. We want it to be straight up and down. There's my last single crochet, chain one and turn. And you can see we're starting to continue our gradual flare out for the diaper. And so we'll turn, place one single crochet in each single crochet across. And then chain two, I'm sorry, and then single crochet two in our last single crochet. There's one and two, chain one and. We're going to repeat this for a total of six rows so that we have seven rows. We started with one row and then we do six rows for the side of the tail hole. And we'll continue to not add any here, but to only add here. After we finish that sixth row, we'll tie off. Now, if you're doing the medium size, you're going to do two more rows to make it a little bit longer. If your dog has a really fluffy tail or a thick tail and you want your tail hole bigger, you can add a, you know, a couple more rows if needed in order to fit your dog's fluffy tail. For the Chihuahua or the small Yorkies, the, the, this total amount works great. So just to repeat, for row six, we just did one single crochet in each single crochet. Then for row seven, we did two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet across, then we chained one and turned, one single crochet across, and we did two single crochets in the last stitch. And then we turned two single crochets, one single crochet across, and of course I still need to do another row. One, two, three, four. So I need to do two more rows actually in order to have a total from here to here of 12 rows. Now remember, that works for the small and the extra small. If you're making the medium, you're going to need to make more rows, or if you want a bigger tail hole, you can make a couple more rows to accommodate your dog's tail. All right, so one, two, three, four. I need to do two more rows, so I'm going to put two single crochets in the first single crochet, one single crochet across, a little more yarn here, Going to chain one and then I'm going to turn 
one single crochet in each single crochet across, two single crochets in the last, and then I'm going to tie off my yarn. So I finished this first side. I'm going to cut my yarn and tie off. And we can weave that in later. And now I'm going to do the other side. And we're going to do it exactly the same. We're going to join to this first single crochet. Whoops. Missed the loop there. Join our yarn. There's our chain one and place one single crochet in the next seven, nine, or eleven stitches depending on which size that you're making. And basically what we're doing is going right back over the stitches that we didn't stitch in on the first side. We placed one single crochet in each single crochet across. We're going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to place one single crochet in the first six stitches and then two single crochets in the last. There we go. Now we're in our last stitch two single crochets. Chain one and turn. And see we're ma we made this first side and now we're making the second side for our tail hole. So we're on the outside so we're going to place two single crochets. One, two, then one single crochet in each single crochet across. chain one and turn and then we'll do the same one single crochet in each single crochet across two single crochets in the last one Pull out a little more yarn. Now, if you added some rows here, you want to make sure, let me turn it this way, that you add the same amount of rows that you added on this side, that you add those same rows to this side so that your tail hole and your sides all line up. So just keep that in mind if you added rows for length there. All right, so I'm going to put two single crochets, one single crochet, and then I'm going to repeat that for my rows. So I added the second side of my diaper, and you can see here's my tail hole. <clears throat> Remember, if you added a couple more rows, one or two or however many on this side, make sure you add the same amount on the other side. So now that these are lined up, that's where my tail hole is going to be. We're going to chain one. We're going to place two single crochets in the first single crochet. One single crochet in each single crochet across the first side. Then we're going to just go right over to the first single crochet of the second side and single crochet across. See how that forms our tail hole? 
and we're just stitching across Alrighty, now we're to the end of our second side and we're going to place two single crochets. One and two. Stitched across, here's our tail hole, and then we stitched across the other side. For the extra small size, you'll do three more rows just like this one. For the small, you'll do four and for the medium, you'll do five. Now, that's according to my pattern. If your dog is longer, say a dachshund, or a dog that has a longer body, then you can do as many rows as you need to in order to get the length that you need. Once you've reached the length for your size here, we're going to change from doing single crochets to doing half double crochets and we're not going to be increasing anymore. We're just going to be building up the center of the back of the diaper. So what we're going to do is for extra small, we're going to do 21, 22, 23, 24. So that means we're going to do four rows of half double crochets. For the small, we're going to do five rows. And for the medium, we're going to do six rows but you can add or subtract as many rows as needed for the length of your dog. So we chained one, and now we're going to work a half double crochet in the first stitch. Yarn over, go in that first stitch, pull up that loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three of those loops. We're not doing any increases, we're just placing one half double crochet in each stitch across. And remember, for the extra small, you're going to do four rows. For the small, you're going to do five rows. And for the medium, you're going to do six rows. So I finished my rows of half double crochet. And now we're going to do one row where it's going to bring it in just a little bit so the diaper lays nicely across their back. So we're going to place one half double crochet and the first half double crochet. Then we're going to half double crochet the two together. So we're going to put our yarn over, go through the first stitch and pull up a loop. Then we're we'll going the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all four of those loops. And then we'll repeat this all the way across this row. So half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we'll stitch the next two half double crochets together. So we'll yarn, put our hook through, pull up a loop, put our hook through, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all those loops. We'll do this all the way across, one half double crochet, and then stitching two half double crochets together. And this is going to bring it in just a little bit so that it lays nicely across your pet's back. This is how row 27 will look because it's going to pull in just a little, like I was saying, one half double crochet, two half double crochets together, repeat it all the way across. We'll cut our yarn and we'll tie off. Then we'll take a few minutes to weave in all our ends and then we'll start the second half of the diaper. All my ends are neatly woven in or weaved in, however you say that, all tidied up. Here's my tail hole. And once you complete the back portion, you've done the hardest part. The other portion is a lot easier. We don't have to go back and forth 
for a tail hole or anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to join back to the crotch portion and if you started with six single crochets you'll have the same amount. If you started with um, let's see eight or ten however many you're going to have that same amount of single crochets. So we're going to go through that first chain because that's where the chain started. Join our yarn in. Make sure you get the right one there. Snug that down and then we're going to stitch six single crochets. And we're going to be working up the front of our diaper now. So we completed all the back. We started our chain. And the way the, the uh, back of the diaper works is we're going to chain one. We're going to turn. We're going to place two single crochets in the first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. We're going to chain one and turn. We'll place two single crochets in the first single crochet. And then we'll place one single crochet in each stitch across. So it's a little bit different. We're only increasing at the beginning of each row, not beginning and end. And this way we get a little bit of a gradual increase without a big increase. Now we wanted a big increase on this side because this one wraps around the sides of the dog. And the other one's going to wrap this way. So the, the increase on the portion that we're working on now is not as drastic as it was on the other side. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to place two single crochets at the first stitch. And one single crochet in each stitch across. And of course, this is the same no matter what size you're working, this particular portion is the same. It's just bigger if you're making a bigger diaper. So it is increasing, but only gradually. So we're going to continue to repeat how we're doing each row for six more rows for the extra small, eight more rows for the small, or 10 more rows for the medium. So we're chain one, turn, two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in each single crochet across. chain one and turn. So the next row that we're going to do is a row of half double crochets. If you're making the extra small you're going to need one row of half double crochets. If you're making the small you need two rows. If you're making the medium you're going to need three rows. So we're going to place a row of half double crochets one half double crochet in each single crochet across and then we're going to form the button tabs. Now again if you added some length to the back portion of your diaper 
you're going to want to add that same amount of length here in order for your diaper and your bands to line up. So keep that in mind when you're stitching your rows of half double crochet here. And just to repeat, you need one for extra small, two rows for small, and three rows for medium. And we do not increase at the beginning or the end of this row. After you've completed however many rows of half double crochets you want, we're going to make the button tabs. So we're going to chain seven. If you're making the small size, you'll need to chain eight. If you're making the medium size, you'll need to chain 11. All right, so here's our chain. We're gonna slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. So there's one and two, and to slip stitch, we just go in, we pull that loop through, and then pull it through the loop that's on our hook. So we're going to slip stitch back down this chain and this is going to give us six slip stitches. Now remember if you're making the small or medium you'll have a different amount. All right. There's our chain with our slip stitches. Then we're gonna half double crochet in each half double crochet across the top of the diaper. Stitching one half double crochet in each half double crochet across till we reach the other end. Once we have half double crocheted across, we're going to chain the same number of chains we chained for the first chain, which for extra small is seven. Then we're going to turn. We're gonna half double crochet in that second chain from the hook. Turn my work. Whoops, got my string caught. All right, so we're going to have double crochet in each chain. There we go. My yarn was dancing around a little bit. So we half double crocheted in the six chains, then we're going to half double crochet in each stitch across. Now remember, we only have six chains because, or six half double crochets, because we started in the second chain from the hook. All right, so we're gonna half double crochet in each stitch across, and then we'll have double crochets in each of those slip stitches in that initial chain. We have double crocheted in our chains. We have double crocheted across. And now we're going to half double crochet in those slip stitches that we made at the beginning of our first chain. Now we're going to chain two here. And that's because our next row, we're going to stitch a row of double crochets. 
And the reason that we want to stitch a row of double crochets is so that any button that we choose will just slide through wherever it needs to go so that we can not have to add any buttonholes like on this one. That way it can be adjusted if your dog's a little thinner or a little fatter. You've got a little bit of playroom with your buttons. So we chain two. We're going to start in the second double crochet, or I'm sorry, the second half double crochet and stitch one double crochet in each of the half double crochets across. And just in case you're not sure what a double crochet is, yarn over, go through your stitch, and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two. So we're going to place one double crochet in each half double crochet across. I double crocheted in each half double crochet across and then we're just going to finish off our tab by chain one and turn our work and one half double crochet in each stitch across and this is our last row and I will tell you if you're making the medium size and you want it a little bit thicker or even if you're making the small size and you want the waistband of the tabs a little thicker you can always add a row or two more of half double crochet. There you go. So we're just going to place one half double crochet in each stitch across. And when you get to the end, don't tie off. So this is how your doggy diaper should look at this point. Now this is this extra small, so yours of course would be bigger or wider if you're making the larger size. <clears throat> the last couple things that we need to do is we need to put a single crochet trim all the way around the edge. It's really simple. Um, you're going to start in the corner of the tab and just start placing a single crochet in the ends of the rows and try to put your single crochet in a stitch opposed to putting it in a hole. You'll just get a much better look and you won't have big gaping holes. When you come to a corner, you can put two or three single crochets in the corner to help it move around the corner a little bit better. Like that one. See how that's going on that corner? And so what you're going to need to do is single crochet all the way around the whole diaper and then come right back across the top and join here. Single crochet all the way around evenly. Sometimes you get them too close, sometimes too far apart. You just have to kind of eyeball it. It's one of those things where we can't give you an exact count because everybody's stitch is different and you might have made them in different sizes. So do the best that you can, give it a nice even trim all the way around, and then I'll show you how to sew on your buttons, and then we'll be all finished. I single crocheted all the way around the edge of my diaper, and now I'm ready to add my buttons and use it. So, I just have some plain white buttons that I'm using. You can use any decorative button, but you need to remember that this button is about, I'm going to say three-fourths of an inch, and you can use a half an inch or three-fourths or even an inch. Just make sure that you have enough room between your double crochets to slide that button through. All right, so I'm going to sew my button on. Here's where I want to place it. Come up from underneath. There we go. Now, these are going to get used a lot, so make sure when you're sewing your button on 
that you go through stitches and not the holes between the stitches because you want them to stay nice and sturdy. And then I do several X's or however kind you button you have, it just has two. There we go. And then I'll tie a knot in the back. And you know, I always tie three if I have to tie a knot. And you can add a little dab of fray check or a little dab of hot glue. Just make sure you push it down a little bit so it doesn't form a little bump and hurt the back of your dog. Because this is the back side. There's my button. And the neat thing about doing that double crochet row is if your dog's chubbier or not, depends on you and your dog, of course, then you can just slide that button through just like that. All right. And that's how we put together a doggy diaper. There's my other button I need to sew on for your dog in three sizes. And it's great for gland issues, for potty issues, or for heat issues. Lots of uses. You can make it out of cotton. I prefer the polyester um, worsted weight number four. Red Heart Super Saver is great because it's super washable. If you're worried about your diaper being rough because you're making it out of the Super Saver, just throw it in the laundry first and then use it. So that's our diaper for your female dog. Mm -hmm.